Hello lovely listeners and welcome back to another empowering episode of Love English. I'm your host Manoj and today I'm diving deep into a topic that affects each and every one of us at some point in our lives, building confidence. Now confidence is like a superpower that can transform the way we live, the way we communicate and ultimately the way we love ourselves. So stay tuned because today's episode is all about boosting your confidence and I promise you by the end you'll be are ready to take on the world with a new found self assuredness before we dive into the nitty gritty of confidence building let's take a moment to understand what confidence really is now confidence isn't about being the loudest person in the room or having all the answers it's about believing in yourself and your abilities now by the situation it's about being comfortable in your own skin and embracing your unique qualities a building confidence is a journey not a destination it's like learning english there's no magic formula but with consistent effort you can become more fluent over time so let's kick things off with our first confidence booster embrace self um compassion one of the first steps in building confidence is to be kind to yourself we often talk to ourselves in ways um we never talk to a friend imagine a friend made a mistake would you berate them or encourage them to learn from it most likely you choose the later so treat yourself like a good friend when you make a mistake or face a challenging situation show yourself some compassion understand that you're only human and that making mistake is a part of life so um in the world of language learning we make mistakes all the time it's how we learn and grow so apply the same principle to your life embrace your mistakes as opportunities for uh, growth and learning set realistic goals confidence can often take a hit when we set ourselves up for unrealistic expectations um just like in language learning if you aim to become fluent in a day you are setting yourself up for disappointment instead break down your goals into smaller achievable steps this way as you achieve each step the confidence grows Small successes pave the way for bigger ones and remember every step counts whether it's mastering a new word or acing an interview by setting realistic goals and celebrating each achievement you'll build your confidence brick by brick step out of your uh, comfort zone growth happens outside of your comfort zone just like when you um, decided to learn a new language you uh, took a step into unfamiliar territory it was uncomfortable at first but with practice and time it became a part of you so uh, building confidence is similar challenge yourself by stepping out of your comfort zone it could be something as uh, simple as striking up a conversation with a stranger or as bold as pursuing a new career path when you push your boundaries you'll discover hidden strengths and talents you never knew you had embrace the discomfort and watch your confidence soar mindfulness and positive talk talk now let's talk about the importance of mindfulness and positive self talk imagine you are practicing your english skills and every time you make a mistake you tell yourself oh i'm really bad at this i'm terrible at this i'll never get it right do you think your language skills will improve with that mindset the same goes for confidence your inner dialogue can either be your biggest cheerleader or your hardest uh, harshest i would say like critic Pay attention to the way you speak to yourself and make a conscious um, effort to replace negative self-talk with uh, positive affirmations. Remember, your thoughts become your reality. So choose thoughts that empower you, not ones that bring you down. The power of preparation, preparation is like your secret weapon in the battle for confidence. Just like when you are well prepared for an English exam, you feel more at ease and confident in your abilities. When facing a challenge, or a new experience do your homework research practice and gather all the knowledge you can the more you know the more confident you will feel it's not about eliminating all uncertainty it's about reducing it through preparation build a support network just like learning a language is often more enjoyable when you have a study group or a teacher to guide you building confidence is often easier when you have a support network surround yourself with positive supportive people who believe in you they can provide encouragement offer advice and be there to boost your spirits when you're feeling low just as important limit your exposure to negative influences that may drain your confidence your social circle can play a significant role in shaping your self belief so choose it wisely practice and uh, repetition now let's get back to the language learning analogy do you remember how you initially struggled with basic phrases and verb 
conjugations uh, but with practice and repetition those once difficult aspects become second nature confidence works in a similar way the more you practice the more confident you become whether it's giving a presentation or maybe starting a new hobby or learning a new skill repetition builds confidence over time so keep pushing yourself keep practicing and watch your confidence grow as uh, you become more proficient in uh, what you're doing learn from failure so failure is often seen as a roadblock to uh, to confidence but in reality it's a stepping stone just like when you struggle with a challenging english grammar rule you uh, your uh, your errors are opportunities to improve when you fail instead of seeing it uh, as a defeat uh, view it as a valuable lesson analyze what went wrong learn from your mistakes and use that knowledge to improve over time you'll develop resilience and a deep sense of confidence that even setbacks can't shake physical health and confidence let's not forget the connection between physical health and confidence just like you need energy and vitality to master a new language physical well being is a vital for confidence regular exercise a balanced diet and adequate sleep can do wonders for your self esteem when you take care of your body you'll not only feel better physically but mentally as well confidence often starts from within and a healthy body can support a healthy mind positive visualization visualizing success um, can be a powerful tool in building confidence just as you might picture yourself speaking fluently in english imagine yourself confidently tackling challenges and achieving your goals close your eyes and vividly picture the outcome uh, you desire feel the emotions associated with success this practice can help rewire your brain to associate confidence with your goals and aspirations making it easier to take the necessary steps to achieve them learning from others sometimes building confidence can feel like lonely journey just like learning a language on your own but remember you're not alone many people have walked the same path and faced similar struggles learn from those who have succeeded in building their confidence read their stories listen to their experiences and take inspiration from their journeys you'll find that many successful individuals faced their fears and self doubt but overcame them to achieve great things accept compliments actually i just love accept accepting compliments from others gracefully when someone compliments your language skills do you shy away from it or do you say oh thank you i've been working hard on it accepting compliments gracefully is a small but crucial step in building confidence next time someone praises you don't deflect it instead thank them and acknowledge your efforts this simple practice can reinforce your self worth and boost your confidence over time conquer your fears confidence often hides behind your fears just like when you initially feared speak english because of the fear of making mistakes it's essential to confront and conquer your fears head on identify what scares you and then take gradual steps to face those fears as you overcome each fear your confidence will grow remember courage is not the absence of fear but the ability to act despite it i know this is a little hard celebrate your achievements every step towards building your confidence is worth celebrating just like you celebrate each milestone in your language learning journey making it a habit to celebrate your personal achievements whether it's a small win or a significant accomplishment acknowledge your efforts and uh, acknowledge your efforts and take a moment to savor your success these celebrations serve as a reminder of your progress and reinforce your confidence take risks life uh, life is full of uncertainty is just like navigating through a new language to build confidence you must be willing to take risks don't be afraid to put yourself out there even if you are uncertain of the outcome taking calculated risks can lead to exciting opportunities and personal growth and with each risk you take your confidence in your decision making abilities grows stronger find your passion passion confidence often go hand in hand when you're passionate about something you naturally have more confidence in your abilities just as you might feel more confident discussing a topic you're deeply interested in pursue your passions to build yourself a shortness discover what sets your soul on fire <laughs> and invest your time and energy in it your passion will fuel your confidence and motivate you to keep pushing forward seek professional help in some cases building confidence can be challenging journey just as mastering a complex language it's okay to seek professional help when necessary 
psychologists, life coaches and therapists can provide guidance and support to help you overcome self-doubt and boost your confidence. Remember that seeking help is a sign of strength, not weakness. Just as you might seek a uh, language tutor to improve your language skills, a professional can assist in improving your confidence. Give back and help others. Helping others can be a powerful confidence booster. Just like you may have helped someone learn English, uh, offering uh, your knowledge, skills or time to support others can provide a sense of fulfillment and confidence. As you see the positive impact you can make on others, your self-worth and confidence will naturally increase. Plus, there's a wonderful way to contribute to the world around you. Stay patient and persistent. This is the hardest thing to do, I think. <laughs> Building confidence is not an overnight process. It takes time, effort and patience. Just as you steadily improved your language skills over time, don't be disheartened by slow progress in confidence building. Stay persistent and keep moving forward even when you face setbacks. Remember the journey towards confidence is as valuable as the destination. A recap of our confidence building tips before I conclude today's episode. Let's quickly recap the confidence building tips I've discussed so far. Embrace self compassion, set realistic goals, step out of your comfort zone, practice mindfulness and positive self-talk. The power of preparation, build a support network, practice and repetition, learn from failures, focus on physical health, positive visualization, learn from others, accept compliments gracefully, conquer your fears, celebrate your achievements, take risks, find your passion, seek professional help if needed, give back and help others, stay patient and persistent. Building confidence is an ongoing journey much like our language learning adventures. It's filled with ups and downs but the reward of becoming a more self-assured and empowered individual is worth every step. So dear listeners, remember that confidence is not a destination, it's a lifelong journey. Embrace the process and always believe in yourself. You've got this now. Thank you for joining me on Love English. If you found this episode helpful, please share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe for more content. Until next time, keep learning, keep growing and most importantly, keep loving yourself.